In Gotham City, if you're just a normal guy with a normal life, odds are like 80 to 20 that somehow your life is just bound to get ruined. Whether it be Scarecrow injecting enough fear toxin into your veins to send you in a nightmare world where Scarecrow's a benevolent god, maybe you go to drink some tap water in your apartment you for some reason only pay $50 to live in, only to find yourself laughing to death, or maybe you go to bed after a long day of work and wake up hours later in an abandoned warehouse to a guy wearing a pig mask. You hear the sounds of power tools buzzing and opera music, looking around to find that where you're arms used to be are now replaced with your feet, and the man responsible just fucking twerks in front of you. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about Professor Pig. Now, Professor Pig's story is a crazy one because it's just pure horror to the letter. Starting out as a member of a secret society known as Spiral, Laszlo Valentin was an exceptional scientist. But after developing a mind-altering chemical akin to Alzheimer's disease, Pig ended up getting exposed to said chemical and ended up becoming an insane lunatic off the jump. Donning a butcher's uniform and a pig mask inspired by the circus, Laszlo became Professor Pig. Starting his lunacy by kidnapping random people of Gotham and subjecting them to the most horrifying obscenities imaginable. Striving for perfection due to the chemical Laszlo had been exposed to, Professor Pig would surgically remove parts of people's bodies he deemed imperfections. And this was including removing a person's ward on their face, maybe a hand or two, a leg, and if deemed be by Professor Pig, maybe even the switch of genders. All, of course, completely involuntary. And to make matters worse, there are moments in comics where he keeps his victims awake while performing surgery, singing opera music. It's insane. Now, somehow, this manages to get only much, much worse. Because Professor Pig also takes it upon himself to lobotomize his victims he deems as perfections to become his dolatrons. And if you aren't familiar with what a lobotomy is, it's one of the most horrifying things any one sole person could do to another. But I'll simply put it as a procedure where someone sticks a metal stick just behind your eye to reach the part of your brain that is your soul essentially. And they take a hammer to that said stick and destroy that part of the brain, leaving you almost like a living zombie. This is what Professor Pig subjects his innocent victims to whenever out on the streets of Gotham, and later forces his victims to become his mindless minions. Like, the Joker is evil and all, and definitely has to go, but Professor Pig is on a whole nother level. He has to go like yesterday. He's just viciously evil with no redemption in sight. Make it stop. I can't take anymore. <laughs> Pig, make it all better. <laughs> Pain is just the body's way of saying thank you. When I think of Professor Pig, I also can't help but relate him to the psychotic minds of Dr. Steinman from Bioshock and the other Eddie Gluskin from Outlast Whistleblower, who still both traumatize me to this day. It's just downright disturbing when you think about how all three of these people have the obsession for perfection and surgery, and they just distort these people's bodies in such disturbing ways. It's just unnaturally horrifying. There are also several stories in which Professor Pig displays true horror, but most notably, it's in Grant Morrison's run of Batman and Robin. And if you haven't read it, go and read it right now, because it's absolute perfection. In this story, it's Professor Pig's breakout introduction as a new villain in Gotham. After a heist gone wrong, one of the Pig's henchmen, named Nico, tries to get out of Gotham with his daughter before Pig gets to them, knowing that if Pig gets them, they're better off dead. But sadly, Pig finds them before they can leave, and uses his dolatrons to capture Nico and his daughter. Daughter. Awaking hours later, strapped to a table, Pig says how it's strange that the worst place in the world can be anywhere, and that he waited till he was awake so he could feel every moment of his glorious transformation. As Pig's horrifying dolatrons place a mask over Nico's face, burning away everything that made him the man he once was in front of his daughter. With Professor Pig adding that pain is the beginning of perfection, and he will make Nico perfect. But not just Nico, no but his daughter as well, saying that Nico will help with the process of her perfection and they'll both become lovely dolls together. Within the next issue, we follow Damian Wayne as he finds Professor Pig's lair, which is based inside of a carnival. And while looking around, from a desolate cage, a girl cries out to Robin for help. Robin looks over, and the girl from before has been tortured and subjected through the repulsive process of becoming a dollatron. Before Robin can do anything to help her, he gets ambushed by several dollatrons. And hours later, Robin awakes to the sounds of drills, oinks, and opera music. 
Professor Pig mutters nonsense to himself, preparing to lobotomize the girl with a power drill until he sees that Robin has woken up from dreamland. Professor Pig begins to dance and twirl in excitement, until looking at Robin's face takes his mind to a place he'd rather not go. Thoughts of perfection over and over clawing at his mind that his work is never truly good enough, while twirling power tools frantically. Changing the music from opera to sexy hot disco, he begins to pose a very deranged scenario to Robin, where Robin is this beautiful woman and Pig is this attractive man. Busting down on the dance floor for Robin, undoing his shirt, Pig starts a manic fit that Robin is judging him for his weight and that he drinks too much and that he forgets to take his medicine. Yelling aloud with no order in his mind that he's an artist, how's he supposed to work on antipsychotics? He hates this music. Thrusting himself onto Robin, oinking like a pig. Then pissing himself, saying he wants to be sick in front of everyone, giving us just a little peek at Pig's deplorable mind. Robin sitting through Pig's manic breakdown, he eventually breaks out from his bindings and beats the holy hell out of the Dolatrons and Pig. After subduing most of the Dolatrons, Robin rushes over to the girl, where we find out her name is Sasha, promising to Sasha that he'll save her from this nightmare. And in the middle of the scuffle, Sasha manages to burn Pig with a nearby candle to help out Robin. This ends up causing Pig to run away in a cart with Robin not far behind, but in the process, Robin ends up abandoning Sasha, leaving her in the nightmare by accident. Now, Pig doesn't really pose a physical threat, so Batman and Robin end up taking him out easily, and after getting cuffed, he disturbingly wants to be hit over and over because of his punishment kink. Now, Professor Pig may end up in prison after this horror show, but his influence doesn't end here. When attempting to save the people turned into Dolatrons by removing their masks, the masks end up ripping off their faces in the process, meaning the victims can't be saved no matter what they do. And after Sasha was abandoned by Robin, she lost her faith in superheroes and vowed for revenge. Unable to reverse her appearance given by Pig, she'd be cursed to look like a Dolatron for the rest of her life. And to spare Pig's victims, in the cover of Night, she'd not only kill her father, but every one of the Dolatrons as well, going on to become the villain known as Scarlet, sidekick to Red Hood during his villain era. Sasha grew to hate Robin with every fiber of her being, becoming a brutal villain shown to remove the faces of those who oppose her, while also afraid of her own face in the mirror afraid that if she were to even slightly take the mask off her head, her face would melt with it. But later in the story, after leaving Gotham, it's left to interpretation on whether Scarlet lives by the end. Because after forced to make a quick getaway, while leaving Gotham, the Dolatron mask falls off from her head, but it's never shown if she kept her true face. But no matter the face she'd be left with, she would still be left with the trauma left by Professor Pig regardless. I did all I could to fix her, to make her by the time you came along, I couldn't even look upon that spoiled canvas of her face. I couldn't let that be the face that greeted you in this world. I had to end it, Yalos. For you. For Mother. She left me no choice. I believe that this is probably Professor Pig's best display of horror in comics, and looking for other stories, you'll either see Professor Pig hung upside down from a cross in Batman 666, or what Professor Pig's true face looks like in Damian Wayne, son of Batman, and in another instance, creating demented versions of Nightwing and Damian Wayne. But in Arkham Knight, it's almost like they kicked the horror up a few notches, and I mean, just listen to some of his audio recordings in-game. Now, like a big family, growing week by week. Now they feel no pain. They know nothing of misery. I call them my dollatrons. <laughs> to each new home we move at night, finding a fresh patch of earth to inhabit. Secret places in forgotten parts of town. Ugly wastelands. <laughs> Where the locals stumble unawares into our... <laughs> because Professor Pig is roughly the same character as he is in the comics, there's only a few minor changes. Operating under his establishment called Pretty Dolls Parlors, as a demented surgeon, Pig kidnaps innocent people of Gotham and performs surgery on them, turning them into his Dolatrons. During the events of the game, Batman finds six of the Dolatron victims scattered around Gotham City with distinct opera music playing nearby and words like defective or failure near them. The disgusting process of Pig converting someone into a Dolatron corrupts their DNA and fingers.
fingerprints, leaving Batman no way to identify the bodies than by using a deep tissue scanner, just to find distinct markings recorded on a missing persons database. After finding all six victims, Batman cross-references all the leads bringing him to Pretty Doll's parlors. Hearing the same opera music that was near the victims leads Batman to become incredibly suspicious. And going further down the rabbit hole, Batman ends up finding Pig in the middle of converting another person into a Dollatron. Batman intervenes, stops Professor Pig after the most blood-curdling boss fight in all of gaming, and saves other missing people from the fate of becoming Dollatrons. God, when this game came out, this mission was definitely the most disturbing. It just felt like something straight out of Saw. Beyond this, he appears in several shows, but... I'm not going to talk about them. Now, I took a poll before making this video to see out of Zaz, Scarecrow, and Pig who were the scariest, and you all picked Pig. So I hope after watching this video you all realize now just how demented and psychotic Professor Pig truly is. Professor Pig is a truly demented character through and through, and I'd honestly go so far as to say that he's worse than the Joker, and that's saying something, given the Joker will kidnap disabled kids just to kill Batman in front of them. So be warned, if you hear opera music with a couple of power drills going off nearby, be on your guard, because a little piggy might not be too far off. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.